Welcome to Crypto Tech Check. In this short, concise five minute video, we're going to unbox the Bobcat Miner 300, review the hardware, dimensions, and components, and show you the basic setup so you know just exactly what to expect. Time to mine with our Bobcat. Let's go. The Bobcat Miner 300 box comes with everything you need to get your hotspot up and running. The Do's and Don'ts Diagnoser is a must read for a successful setup. The quick troubleshoot guide will help get you through minor onboarding issues. Inside the box, you will find the Bobcat Miner, mounting plate, mounting screws and wall anchors, Bluetooth button pin, 12 volt power adapter, 4 DBI LoRa antenna, and the antenna base. If for any reason you are missing any of these components, please make sure you reach out to the Bobcat Miner support immediately through the Bobcat Miner contact page. When choosing a location, try to place the antenna as close to a window or balcony as possible to minimize the amount of obstruction between your miner and the antennas of other helium devices. If you're looking for some context on the size of the Bobcat Miner before you buy, it is a square design, 141mm or 5.5 inches on each side, 47mm thick, so not even 2 inches, and weighs 126 grams or 0.27 pounds so it's smaller than your average Shaw or TELUS internet modem. When setting up your miner, you will use four components. The first component will be the LoRa antenna connector. The second component will be the Bluetooth pairing button. The third component will be the ethernet port. And the fourth component will be the power jack. Carefully secure the LoRa antenna to the magnetic antenna mount. Hand tighten the male RP SMA cable to the female RP SMA jack. Using tools or over tightening this cable can damage the connector. Next, plug in the ethernet cable. We recommend using an ethernet connection during the initial setup. But after initial setup, using your Wi-Fi will be suitable as long as your connection is stable. Lastly, Plug in the power adapter to the miner and then to the wall outlet. Never connect the antenna when the miner is powered on. Once your miner is powered, your LED will first turn red and then turn yellow. Your work is done. Just give the miner time to sync and you're all set. Now that you know the basics, perhaps you would like to learn more about Helium and just how the network works. Or perhaps you are already convinced and want to know how to buy the Bobcat Miner 300. If so, then we encourage you to check out the videos linked here and to subscribe to the channel for all your helium and cryptocurrency passive income guides. We hope to see you soon.